Hey there, in today's video, we will see how one can find out the enhancements from any standard transactions. It's a hard truth that almost all of standard transaction in almost every organization is enhanced to fit it cut into custom requirements. So assuming that XYZ is a standard transaction and so the result of transaction would be like this only is a mistake. So in this video, we will find out how to check if transaction is enhanced or not. So this is on the list to discuss today. First we'll have the introduction, then we will, before jumping into the SAP system, we will have, uh, we have an ebook for you to, to learn the debugging of ABAP programs. Okay, we will discuss about that ebook. Then we will go into the SAP system and check how we can find out all custom enhancements for any transaction codes that are done in the system. Uh, that that is done through the ANST transaction code. So we will check how to use this ANST transaction and find out all the enhancements. And then finally we will conclude the video with what we what we learn in this video. So learn to debug ABAP programs. This is an ebook written for functional consultant to learn debugging. As a SAP consultant, debugging is must skill that one should have. In today's world, one must know how to read programs and debug them. ABAP programs are easiest to read and understand once you know the key stuff to look for. And that's what this book will teach you. It will just take you deep enough into technical stuff so that you can start understanding ABAP and learn to debug any program. This ebook will not only take talk about debugging but you, will, you will also learn other tools and tactics that will strengthen your command over system. So get your copy from the link in, link in description box. Okay, so now we will jump into the uh, SAP screen and the transaction we are talking about uh, for checking out the enhancement is ANST. So we'll go into the ANST transaction code. So this transaction is to uh, you can see the name itself is automated note search and customer code detection tool. So this this transaction will help you to detect the if, uh, custom codes if there are any in the standard transactions if there are any enhancements or user exits that has been applied or any custom any SAP nodes that has been applied on standard transactions that all you can get to know through this ANST transaction so once you come into this transaction you can see this transaction in this transaction you can you can check the custom code for the transactions, for the programs, for BSP applications, for Web Dyn Pro applications, for WD application configuration, for Fury UIFI application. For everything, you can you just have to select the node, enter the program name, and execute it. This program will find out the this program will give you the result of the all the custom codes that has been applied. So now we'll go for the transaction and we will do it for the ME21N transaction so you just need to enter ME21N and execute it so once you execute it will uh, come onto the screen where you can create the purchase order now what you can do you can enter the values in the in this screen okay so the more deeper you will go if you create entire purchase order in the open all and every tab of the purchase order and save it then it will check the entire logic so right now our program is running ANST is running uh, on the back end on the every program that is being checked out by us okay so let's take one vendor as an example purchase or purchase go
and we will enter the plant press enter okay uh, so we're getting some uh, this error here saying that you can see if I minimize the screen okay for pure quantity is there net price we will enter enter the currency currency will give INR and we are getting the error that supplier is not here but that's fine so so far we have entered uh, the, all the required values in the purchase order and we'll just randomly go through the tabs and okay and now we'll come back we'll not save this document so you can see here the our trace program is running and it is converting the entire trace into the reports that reports you will see once once this ran completely so so far whatever the activity is so let's see if you if you uh, uh, if you see any additional tabs in the header data or in the line item data of the purchase order you can open that custom tab you can put enter some values there so our program will go there to check that custom code so so that our trace will also know that this program is also need to be checked and you will get the link of the enhancements that has been done on the purchase order screen or at the end of the purchase order so it's running let's wait for some more time and now it has ran it ran for like two three minutes and this report it has generated the program has generated this trace report where it is saying that what and all the components is being checked by the activities that we just performed okay it is saying from the basis 1345 components it has checked from controlling 108 components from financial accounting 213 components right so what you can do you can you can even further expand this to know what and all areas it has checked so now i will select this financial accounting and I will click on this customer code button. So this you can you you will have you have the different different options that you can see the tables the you can even download the trace you can even set the back breakpoints on the uh, whichever application you want you can see what and all tables our program has checked. But right now our objective for this video is to check the customer code. So I will just click on customer code and you can see the the report is running okay so here you can see all the enhancements and customer codes that has been there in the put in the purchase order you can see these all our customer uh, custom coding done in these programs announcements done in these programs user exit okay and you just you can see you just simply have to double click on any of the object name which you want to check and it will give you like what and all the bodies that has been implemented on our uh, in our purchase order you can double click on user exit to know what and all user exit that has been activated implemented right so this way you can come to know all the customer codes enhancements that has been done on your standard transaction codes so this helps actually a lot to even a webber and to even a functional consultant when you hit some error or you are not able to understand some logic that are there in custom 
standard transactions and we cannot just go to any ababa or even to even on ourselves go and debug the entire standard transaction code because that that will be a lot huge complex and that is that is nearly impossible so the tricks will help us to eliminate the part that we need to debug and and narrow down our research to get what we need to find out the root cause of any issue that we are facing so this ans transaction is actually a very helpful transaction and you should keep it handy to use it uh, frequently so this is all for this video do not forget to check out the description box for other uh, book recommendation and other videos recommendation thank you for watching stay tuned for next week